the other frogs in the lake got on the shore and made sounds. Some went ding, ding, ding. Some of the big frogs made deep, deep sounds. Ruck, ruck, ruck. But the little frog with green spots made this sound. I feel happy. I feel excited because when I go to the, the one that I get to 100, I get everyone gets to celebrate me that I get 100 or for this reading. Hey you all, thanks for hanging out with us. I've got my son here and I thought it'd be good for us to do this video together. I am Dr. Z. I share lessons for the home mom, work mom, and bomb to be based on blending 10 plus years of teaching with now homeschooling. And I thought it'd be great to have my son come along this time and do an interview about his reading, his progress, and what he thinks. You guys may know if you've been watching me that I love to give my children the opportunity to share and to hear their voice so that it helps me get an understanding of how how they see things and to gain uh, insight into how I plan and how I um, go about carrying out lessons every day. So um, my son is going to share a little bit about uh, a reading program that we've been using and many of you have, if you've been watching, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe. If you find anything helpful in this video, continue to watch us, click the notification bell so you can stay tuned on all future updates. But we've been using Teach a Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons and uh, I will link some videos uh, in the description box below for you all if anyone's interested. Um, there, It's a very popular curriculum, but I thought it'd be good uh, for him to share his, his process of going through it because he is 10 lessons away. This is our sticker chart. I don't know if you can see that there. But he is 10 lessons away from finishing. And I think the last updated video that you saw uh, where I talked about our homeschool updates, I talked about him wanting to complete that. And then there was a video where he, he shared that one of his goals was to complete this book for the summer and even though we're a little bit past the summer we're super excited that he just has 10 lessons to go well let me not say we're super excited how do you feel come over so they can see how do you feel about having 10 lessons left I feel happy I feel excited because when I go to the, the one that I get to 100 I get to, everyone gets to celebrate me that I get 100 with this reading. That's right. So we celebrate him. We did that with my daughter and uh, we just make it a big thing because to go through reading and learning something like learning a new language, uh, it's hard for anyone. And so we're really excited about the progress that he has made. So I thought it'd be a good idea for us to start with affirmations. This is the way that we start, start our school day and it's a way for the kids to just be reminded of who they are. And in the past when they were younger, I would give them words like you are wonderful, you're special, words that that they could use, but now they come up with their own uh, affirmation. So I thought before we have him share about what he feels about reading and learning, uh, that he could start with his affirmation. So who are you? I am sage, I'm strong, I am mighty, I'm creative, I'm, I love Jesus and my God's man. All right, and how old are you, Sage? I'm five. Five years old. Okay, so let's talk about this. So. How has it been for you learning how to read? Good. Okay. Good. What What do you think was so good about it? Uh, when I read one of the lessons about it, like, like when the ant was trying to find his home, and okay. go ahead. And when he found a home, and he the rat came, that was so silly. Okay, so you enjoy the stories that are in the book, okay? So yeah, at the end of every lesson, which lessons are about 15 to 20 minutes that we do daily, at the end of every lesson, there is a story that Sage has to read, and he reads it based on learning the different areas or different breakdowns of words. And so the further he goes along in the lessons, the more he's able to decode words. And so he enjoys reading the stories. What else? What else do you like? Um, 
I like to, when I first read it, a story, I was like surprised when I first read a story and I got to the, the to get higher and higher and it got harder and harder so I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, so yeah, the further along he gets, it gets more and more challenging. And you're right, you are getting the hang of it. So now that you have like 10 lessons to go, do you think like you'll never read again? No, I still read. You'll still read. How often do you read? What does that mean? So like, do you read, how many times a day like do you read? Like... Other um, than just using the Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. Um, I can work. I read, I think I read like four six days okay so you read every day pretty much right and what types of books do you like to read uh books about cats cat in the hat dr seuss mm -hmm. oh i like green juice about um, books about books about dolphins zebras dinosaurs animals that's right <laughs> anything about animals right mm -hmm. And lately, he's been getting into history books, right? So you like, what period are you learning about? What do you say? What period of time? In the medieval period? The medieval period. So he's been learning about uh, feudalism, and you did read a book about a castle, what happens in the castle, right? Yes. So he's my um, child that will get up in the morning very early, and then he will go and he will pick books and he will just read them. And even if he doesn't know it, he will try his best to decode it and ask for help when he needs it. But he, he really enjoys uh, reading. Were there some hard things about going through this book though? Sometimes that were hard for you? Mm -hmm. What was those things? Like, um, like one of the stories when I first tried to do it or one of the stories that were hard for me, like a story with a cat. Maybe when, when, um, when I didn't know that there was gonna be cover pictures and pictures that you can really see. So that's all. So maybe in the beginning when you were reading it and not knowing all of the words for the story, mm -hmm. What, how do you feel about this? Uh, other kids using this book? Would you want other kids to learn how to read this way, or do you? Would you say no? I wouldn't want other kids to use this book. What do you think? I would think that I finish this book and let other I'll teach other people how to read books by themselves. Oh, so you want to help other kids learn how to read. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Okay, guys, I just wanted to pop in and let him talk. Um, if you have any questions about Teach Your Child to Read, as you know that we do use a sticker chart, and it has helped him to go in, at his own pace. Uh, we're, you're typically supposed to do a lesson every day. We don't always do every day. We work at our own pace. And for him, that's made all the difference because as we get more and more along, um, we found his progress to, to just keep going up and up and up. And like I said, his love for reading, uh, because he has been able to put stickers on that he loves, us being able to cover up the pictures and not him have to guess. This book also contains reading comprehension, you know, and things that he has to be able to show that he understands the story. So um, it has worked for him. Like I said, it may not work for every child, um, but it has worked for him. And I just wanted to give him a chance to, to talk about it because we're almost through. And uh, I'm excited about being able to celebrate. Any final things you want to say, Sage? I love this video. I just love this reading book. I love pen stickers. I love animals. And I just love it and if they like this video what should they do they should go on my mom's video and see what kind of stuff that you could do for reading or other stuff did you hear what he said go check out some of the other videos and find some other tips and tools on reading okay thanks for hanging out with me sage you're welcome can't wait to celebrate with you man yes <laughs> all right Leave us a comment below if you have um, any questions about the curriculum or if there's just something you want to learn about reading and the process, how it was for me or how it was for Sage. We'll, uh, we'd love to answer any of your questions. All right. Until next time, be blessed.